Hello everyone, welcome to Infigyan in this very exciting video of factorial equations. Here equation is n factorial minus n square equal to 7n plus 60. While solving this problem, we will try to understand few points about factorials. Then we will see algebraic manipulation to solve this equation and then we will conclude few points about graph. We will see the graph part also. So I am taking this equation as if I am writing n factorial that means its meaning is n cannot be negative. So we have to start by 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 this is what we know means n is whole number. Okay. Now if you will see I can make this quadratic equation if I will shift minus n square to the right. So if I will add n square to both sides, equation will convert into n factorial is equal to n square plus 7n plus 60. Now I can write n factorial as, as we know, n into n minus 1 factorial. So I will write n times n minus 1 factorial okay, is equal to n square plus 7n plus 60. So now I will divide both sides by n. So before that I have to check whether, whether n equal to 0 is solution or not. So let me check at n equal to 0 what will happen to the equation. 0 factorial minus 0 square equal to 7 into 0 plus 60. 0 factorial is 1 equal to 60. No, it is not correct. So that means n equal to 0, it's not solution of this equation. So what we will do, we will divide both sides by n. Let us divide. Once I will divide, then few terms will get cancelled out. This term will get cancelled. Okay. n minus 1 factorial is equal to n plus 7 plus 60 over n. Now, n is only positive integer. As you can see, we verified that n equal to 0 is not solution of the given equation. So, n is only allowed to have positive values. So your left hand side is positive integer. As you can say that would be positive integer. So conclusion is this should be also integer. Obviously positive integer. So 60 over n, 60 divided by n or n divides 60. So then we have to find out the factors of n means how we can consider the value of n so that it should come out integer value. So let me write n equal to 1 I can have 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 10, 15, 30 and 60. There are these much of values. So if you will check, if you will check initially, initial state, if you will check, then n factorial is equal to n square plus 7n plus 60. So obviously n factorial, let me write there. In this equation, if you will check, then n factorial because of this term is positive. So n factorial must be greater than 60. We will write from this equation that n factorial must be greater than 60. So conclusion from this point, n must be greater than 4. Because 4 factorial is 24. 4 times 3 is 12. 12 times 2 is 24. So 24 is 24 greater? No. So we cannot consider up to 4. If I will consider 5, then 5 factorial, yes, that is 120 is bigger than 60. So 
conclusion is n must be greater than 4. So we will reject 1, 2, 3, 4. And as you know, once you are getting higher values of n, that means if you extend your graph towards plus x axis higher than 5, then you will see the graph of factorial function having rapid growth. Having rapid growth if you compare with quadratic equation. So you can reject 30, 60, 15 also because that number is bigger than 5. So what we will do, we will check only 3 candidature values of n, 3 possible values of n. So let's say start, let's verify 5, 6, 10. So that will be one of the answer. So let me put n equal to 5. So 5 factorial minus 5 square is equal to 35 plus 60. This is 120 we know minus 25 equal to 95. 95 is equal to 95. So that's true. No doubt about that. That means n equal to 5 is our solution. Okay. This is also your verification part. Now second thing, the graphical part. There are three functions. First one is, let me write here. If I am, I am trying to plot n factorial, then as we, we can see, 0, 0 factorial is 1, 1 factorial is 1. After that, 2 factorial is 2, and then 3 factorial is 6, 4 factorial is 24. Now rapid it is. 5 factorial is 120, 6 factorial is 720. So if I will find out, if I will find out, gradient of this function, if I will find out gradient of factorial function after 4, means 5, 6, 7, 8 onwards, then you will say it is almost perpendicular line you will be getting. Very, very, means the gradient would be highest at that point. This would be the highest. Now, from which we are comparing with, so second function is quadratic. For example, I am writing 7n plus 60. See, if you can check the delta of this quadratic equation, so that is not giving our real solution. b square minus 4ac. So 49 minus 240, which is negative. So non-real solution, complex solution. So we cannot talk about. But in general, if you will compare, Let me draw y equal to x square only. It would be like that. After that point 4 or 5, you will see there is not match of quadratic with the x, uh, factorial function if you are comparing in terms of gradient, if you are comparing in terms of the rapid growth, the rapid exponential growth. So it is much, much faster than the otherwise function exponential also you can compare with the exponential graph also this is how you can conclude yourself i hope you like this video thank you so much for watching this don't forget to subscribe like and share thanks for your support so far thank you